And in the aftermath of the horrible school shooting in South Florida, local educators are making sure they know what to do in case of a mass shooter situation. And some districts here in the mid state are actually holding special action days today. Let's check in with News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy. He's live at the Metro Nashville Public School offices. And so what is this day all about, Dan? Uh, it's really all about reinforcing some of the safety plans already in place and just uh, getting teachers and staff administrators just about everybody works with these students fully aware of some of these plans that are currently in place and maybe even coming up with ideas of uh, different safety plans to implement especially in wake in the wake of what we saw last week in Florida and of course last month also in Marshall County Kentucky so Metro students already out of school today um, for President's Day but teachers are going to be meeting here to review and revisit their safety plans Williamson County Superintendent Dr. Mike Looney decided last week to close school today originally students were going to be there but uh, decided to close it after that shooting and said now I want my teachers here uh, without the students so we can talk about these safety plans and Murray County school officials will be going over their crisis response plan once their class is let out today. I also want to read to you this tweet from Dr. Mike Looney that just came out about an hour ago. He said students today, your teachers, administrators and school support staff will spend the day talking about our safety plans. Dr. Looney goes on to say, I hope you search for college scholarships and get rid of video games that glorify killing. Also, he says rest because tomorrow we are going to work hard. That uh, tweet coming down from the director uh, of Williamson County Schools just an hour ago. So a whole lot going on today, Amy and Rebecca, across uh, schools all across the mid-state. Reporting live this morning outside Metro School Board, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5.